Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we are going to have a look and see the Millennium Development Goal 7 and 8 and also the Sustainable Development Goal 1. Even this video will help us to know what extent Bangladesh achieved them. Before knowing about Millennium Development Goal 7 and 8, it is important to know what is Millennium Development Goals. The Millennium Development Goals endorsed by governments at the United Nations in September 2008 to improve human well-being by reducing poverty, hunger, child and maternal mortality, ensuring education for all, controlling and managing disease, tackling gender disparity, ensuring sustainable development and pursuing global partnerships by 2015. Firstly, we are talking about Millennium Development Goal 7, which is about ensuring environmental sustainability. MDG 7 aims to manage sustainably the natural resources, space, and ecosystem to meet people's food requirement and other environmental, social, and economic needs. Let's have a look to a bit more detail. Now, here are the precise things that try to achieve within 2015. In MDG 7, there are a number of different environmental points. Target 7a is to reverse the loss of environmental resources, which slow down deforestation, etc. Target 7b is trying to reduce biodiversity loss. Target 7c is interesting halt by 2015 the portion of population without sustainable access to safe drinking water. From this table, we can easily understand the progress of Bangladesh in achieving Millennium Development Goal 7. At present, there is only 19.4% of land in Bangladesh having tree cover with density of 10% and above. Based on the spatial dimension, the area having tree cover is much closer to the target set by the government, but the density is much less than the target, less than 70%. Data shows that at present, the proportion of terrestrial and main areas protected is 2.3%, which is much less than the target of 5%. Now we are talking about the last Millennium Development Goal 8 which is regarding develop a global partnership for development. The target most relevant to the special needs of least development countries, landlocked countries and small island developing state. If we look at MDG 8, this target dealing with debt and dealing with the needs of specific countries from a global partnership context. MDG 8 has six targets. Develop further and open rule-based, predictable, non-discriminatory, trading and financial system. Address the special needs of least development countries. Address the special needs of landlocked development countries and small island developing countries. Dealing comprehensively with the debt problems of developing countries and etc. From this table, we can easily understand the progress of Bangladesh in achieving Millennium Development Goal 8. Between 1990 to 91 and 2010 to 2011, the Disbursed Official Development Assistant ODA as a proportion of Bangladesh's gross domestic product has declined from 5.6% to 1.6%. However, in 2010 to 2011, the share of grants has increased to 48% of total ODA after a long period. Data shows that the government of Bangladesh has taken up plans to ensure universal access through harmonious development of telecommunication network and building a well-developed strong and reliable telecommunication infrastructure for effective implementation of its ICT policy and ultimately for complementing the vision 2021 of the government. Now we discuss about the achievement of the Millennium Development Goal 7 and Millennium Development Goal 8 in Bangladesh. The achievement of MDG 7 is about only 13.4% of land tree cover with density of 30% and above and the area have tree cover is much lower than the target set for 2015. It's 20 percent. Steady increase in carbon dioxide emissions in Bangladesh because of increasing development interventions and activities. And 97.9 percent people of Bangladesh is using safe improved drinking water source. Whereas the achievement of MDG 8 is about dispersed ODA, official development assistant, as a proportion of Bangladesh GDP has declined from 5.59 percent in fiscal year 1990 to 91 to 1 percent 80 percent people use mobile phone challenge making trade useful for development now we are moving the last topic in our tutorial which is the sustainable development goal the millennium development goals is replaced by the sustainable development goals which started a global effort in 2000 to tackle the indignity of poverty 
The Sustainable Development Goals, also known as the Global Goals, were adopted by all United Nations member states in 2015 as the universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. The objective was to produce a set of universal goals that meet the urgent environmental, political, and economic challenges facing our world. The Sustainable Development Goal 1 is regarding end poverty in all its forms everywhere. Global poverty reduction is one of the world's greatest collective successes since 1990s. Yet, in 2017, almost 700 million still live below the international line of $1.90 per day. SDG 1 aims to eradicate every form of extreme poverty, including the lack of food, cleaning, drinking water, and sanitation. Let's have a look to a bit more detail of Sustainable Development Goal 1. Now here are the precise things that try to achieve within 2030. Eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere, currently measured as people living on less than 1.25 US dollar per day. Reduce at least by half the proportion of men, women and children of all ages living in poverty in all its dimensions according to national definitions. Ensure that all men and women in particular the poor and the vulnerable have equal rights to economic resources. Global development planning and initiatives have changed immensely in recent decades. There has been a move from a fragmented approach to a more integrated and aligned strategy. SDG replaced the Millennium Development Goals, which started a global effort in 2000 to tackle the indignity of poverty. The MDGs established measurable, universally agreed objectives for tackling extreme poverty and hunger, preventing deadly disease, and expanding primary education to all um, children, among other development priorities. Thank you. They also kick started a global movement for free primary education, inspiring countries to invest in their future generations. Most significantly, the MDGs made huge steps in combating HIV and other treatable diseases such as malaria and tuberculosis. Compared to MDGs, 17 SDGs are more ambitious in scope and uh, universal in coverage by setting targets both for developing and development countries. These goals adopted a more comprehensive approach towards development by integrating social, economic and environmental dimension of the the COVID-19 pandemic has made the global economy implode and many are wondering what lies ahead in the post-COVID era when it comes to achieving the sustainable development goals. COVID-19 has effect on SDG1 achievement and caused the first increase in global poverty. A new research published by the UNU World Institute for Development and Economics Research warns that the global economy fallout from the global pandemic could increase global poverty. Spread of the deadly COVID-19 virus have increased the sufferings of the poor and vulnerable segments of the society. Social protection services will also experience a similar road, but the negativity in 2020 will recover by 2030. The lockdown has led to a collapse in economic activities, hence causing reduced income leading to accelerated poverty. However, the government need more funding and people participation to overcome the effect of COVID-19 in achieving sustainable development goals. Thanks for staying with us.